It's true. Oh, look, they got a split push top. Who it's true. And I went with the tanky jungler. It all, it all was pretty much the same. But we'll jump into champion select. It looks like he won't get that singe today. First ban out from CLG. And it's interesting because singe wasn't banned against them. And they didn't take yeah. it. It was Elise they went with last time. Gragas taken away from Skara as well. He's been favoring Diana a bit lately. Twisted Fate has been taken away from Link, though. Actually, yeah. Dignitas did show a different face in that first mm. game against Marn. They went with the very well-planned early game strategy. And I, I liked it a lot. A lot of split pushing, early towers going down, objective control. And they bought early game items, rushing the Aegis and stuff. But... Ooh, the vein. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh, obviously going to ban that for double lift. But uh, these are very Dignitas-focused bans right here. Of course, that Kale and Gragas um, both focus at Skara. And now I want to see whether Draven gets picked up here. Mm -hmm. Because obviously Kale taken away, like you say, from and Skara. You know, the the smack talking, I think, is the w safe way I can say about it. <laughs> of double lift to Cutie Pie talking about Draven. I was just going to say, it's really interesting because uh, double lift called out Draven as a whole. Just That's that's a great AD carry, uh, being very sarcastic there. We have a first pick, Nasus. I'm glad. Hot shot. It looks like uh, they, oh, they could do that in the jungle, but Hot Shot really has been one of the only uh, solo laners to run that. So, CLG with that extra little edge, you never know where it's going to go. And there's a question for you. Do they run it differently? Because normally in the jungle, you level up the Spirit Fire. Is he going to level up the Q or is he going to be Spirit Fire again? Uh, if Hot Shot takes it solo, then he actually likes to become that massive beast late game. And so, uh, you could see him throw a few more points into that um, Siphoning Strike. Of course, they can always have Chaster on it. So, uh, flexible first pick for CLG. I like it. Flexible and uh, Dignitas thinking they're Vulcan here, trying to troll the uh, Viz pick. <laughs> like I watched the, the Vulcan do on you guys at MLG, but yeah. uh, there is going to be the Elise and Caitlyn being locked in. Currently, Zed being highlighted is a mm -hmm. champion that Link could potentially play. Could, of course, be the jungler. We saw Insect playing it, and he oh, honestly yeah. is the best in the world. On oh, it. yeah. That was just beautiful to watch. That Insect versus Diamond Fox game, as like a jungler, that just like you're. Okay, I don't want to say that. You, word, you actually but couldn't commentate that it's game a, because it's a dream that you, yeah. Because you would have, you would have been a little bit too excitable, I think, as a child on that one. Oh. But, uh, so Dignitas, the first two picks are the same as against Marn. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if they actually want to go with that same strategy. They could very well execute that. And I heard uh, backstage they were like, "Oh, that was pretty much what we wanted." We, there's a few tweaks that they want to make, so maybe this could be the second round try. It is the Lulu Ezreal lane. It is the technically Korean lane. I guess you could say CJ Enters Blaze has been running this one all the time. Mm -hmm. Dignitas with their picks. What support they're going to go with here? We did see Pator using Janna. There's Diana ah, again. And there's Volleybear. They actually switch it up to the Volleybear. So popular after crushing all the North American teams. Uh, Gambit came in. They crushed. Then uh, um, KT Roster B also crushed with it. So I think we've learned our lesson. We'll start <laughs> picking him up. Okay, guys, we're just a little bit behind the curve. <laughs> oh, my word. Could it be the horse? The horse is a good answer to Volibear. They're very similar style jungles, both with very nice speed increases for their ganks, and then they both get really tanky late game. Hecarim with all that sustain through his Spirit of the Dread, and then slight nerfs or sweet tweaks that he got in that last patch that we we're running um, actually didn't hurt him very much because they added a lot of early game damage to him on that Rampage. Well, he will be switched off. It is going to be Malphite. Now, it's probably going to be a jungle Malphite, do we think it? Ooh. And Orianna for Link. <laughs> so the, these two are both hotshot champions. I mean, yeah, either could one anything, could go yeah. uh, top or or jungle. So I guess, yeah, they're keeping that flexibility to the last second. We could see one of those last second switches as well from them. But yeah, Link on the Orianna, that's definitely his style of play. He likes to be the mages in the back line throwing down firepower. So what do we think? Patoy here, he's ran Janna before, mm. went full AP. I think nearly had 100 CS before the end yeah. of that game as well. They were pretty happy with that Janna, but uh, it was an interesting buy, that Spirit of the Elder Lizard, uh, because it would have benefited their team a lot more if he went with Will of the Ancients, you know, uh, giving that spell vamp aura to everybody. He's waiting until the, the very last second here to lock it in. It looks like they're still discussing. You can tell. He's typed it. He's, he's typed looking it, hard. He's just in. <laughs> I Whoa, want it. it's support Elise. Mm, Finally, it's North nice. America. I really hope that this is not their secret support that they've been building up to me for so long. I was like, I'm not going to tell you what it is because we've seen that before. <laughs> that, this is a Korean thing. Not very Even exciting. Europeans, they've done it too. Yep. So I'm like, if that's it, come on, guys. You <laughs> held it in secret for so long and it's... Uh, 
just build you up for NECA, don't they? <laughs> they keep doing this they, to you. They, they do. keep doing this to you, but at least he wasn't casted into the jungle yeah. this time around. <laughs> or Mount. Now the new thing's Malzahar in the jungle. Everyone's <laughs> mousing over that one. But it will be that Elise support, probably. They could do a nice little last minute switch, too, if they really want to. Well, who to. else are they going to play support, really? <laughs> it's not going to be Rumble support. Yeah, keep an open mind here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that open. Okay. <laughs> so, what are we seeing in the two picks? So, yeah, we do see Hotshot currently sitting on Malphite in that top lane. Chance mm -hmm. in the jungle with Nas is something we have seen a lot of. But yeah. how do you see these two teams developing? I like it. I mean, this is a very uh, CLG old school team where they have a bunch of tanks like Nasus and Malphite, super tanky. They also have that hard engage that um, some teams will crumble if they don't have. Having that Malphite ultimate always means that you can start a fight whenever you want to. You can flash ultimate, you'll grab somebody out, um, and if that can be Caitlyn, then that will be amazing because that will get her off the back line. Uh, this attack speed reduction got nerfed a little bit for Malphite, but it's still really strong, great at shutting down AD carries. More importantly, he's got that teleport, so obviously going to be doing <laughs> the split push, but you can also do the Classic. great thing with the home guard boots with the Malphite. Oh, yeah. Boom! It was the very first highlight that I think everybody put on the internet. is like, look what you can <laughs> do with these boots! Home guard boots are amazing. Uh, Dignitas, definitely a fan of them. I love that last play where they're like, all right, we'll trade it, Baron for an inhibitor turret, and then we'll all buy home guard and kill you. Great. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to get in the game. It is Counter Logic Gaming versus Dignitas. It's not quite El Clasico, but it's definitely building up that way. CLG as the blue team, Dignitas on your screens as the red team. Dignitas currently second in the league. CLG currently sitting in fourth. Something you would not expect if I was to talk to you back in season one when it was rock solid versus CLG. <laughs> and speaking of rock solid, it is... <laughs> Of course, Malphite, it's going to be Hotshot GG, going back to the old classic. And Kiwi Kid on Rumble this time, we heard Crumbs talking about it with the Rumble. Actually, I tell a lie, it was, who was I talking to about the Rumble on the top lane? Uh, it was, uh, it was not talking, me. It was Crumbs, <laughs> he was talking about it with Mega Zero. Uh. Uh, this time Kiwi Kid has gone with it though. So Patoy, we'll see how this goes. At least support, first time in NALCS, we'll see how it develops. Actually, the few times I have seen it, while it's good, they've mm -hmm. actually lost with it. Really? Um, I think I saw KT Rolls of B. Well, they were playing in a North American team, so it's not really They were playing fight. Curse. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it wasn't so, fight. yeah, they won with it. But the interesting thing is that it looks like Dignitas are not going to do a switch. Purple side are usually the ones to pull that two versus one switch and send their AD, AD carry top so they don't get behind from that double golems. But Cutie Pie grabbing a red elixir looks like they want to go heads up versus Ezreal Lulu. Yeah, and it does seem that in terms of standing, there's only actually been, look at that, just three wards gone out so far. When you look back, to the very first game, CLG versus TSM that opened the NALCS. Oh, I think yeah. it was seven wards down the river. Yeah. Just one come out this time around from CLG. And they actually use that Oriana ball as a nice little uh, semi ward, too. I like that play. Um, not just saving a little extra gold here. Hotshot being the human ward as well on that blue buff ramp, which is very important. We've seen several people get caught out, um, namely Boy Boy, I think, gave up a couple first bloods with the late blue invades. Those have been uh, fairly problematic for people. But this this is really an oddity now that we don't have the two versus one lane switch. Yeah. We're going way back to like season two style here where we just go straight up AD carry and support down bottom. Do you think this is in response to saying Dignity has a one dimension? Yeah. Said, Fine. <laughs> You think we're one-dimensional? We'll play your exact style and we'll see how it works. I'm not sure if it's a good move though for Dignitas. Going straight up 1v1 with CLG. As it stands, Scarra taking some damage in that mid lane. Bot lane, of course. We're going to keep our eyes on that one. Double lift out move versus I'm a Cutie Pie and Patoy. I'm a Cutie Pie did go with Caitlyn, despite the fact Draven was available. Yeah, and I think this might be just Patoy wants to show off his support Elise. Maybe he's like, I'll show you just how good it is. Maybe it's a little late to surprise you guys, but I want to make use of all my baby spiders. All of the spiders, and of course, to lift on Ezreal, taking that vein away from him. Chow, so we'll keep our eye on him as he goes around the jungle, as we will crumbs, of course on the volley bear. Two of these junglers really have come into their prominence, I feel, throughout the North American uh, LCS as well as the European. They definitely come into their own. And it seems to be always when Diamond Prox plays that <laughs> champion. It's like, whoa, what's he playing now? Why is he doing that? And yes. everybody's suddenly streaming it, the same thing. It takes everybody a couple games and then they pick it up, start copying it as well. I mean, Volibear, his kit is so 
nice. It's just his ultimate is the only thing that feels lacking to me on it. I mean, his Q is faster than Ghost. You get 45% move speed if you're running at a champion with Volibear with the Q on at level 1, and Ghost, Ghost is only 35%. And the fact that he has Ghost with it is a scary thing when that bear comes running at He'll you. just come barreling it's, it's, down and the it's lane. It's interesting, and Jap has been talking about this, how Ghost is effectively becoming that secret overpowered summoner spell that a lot of the junglers are suddenly figuring out. Yeah, it, I really like it because after so many tweaks to Flash, increasing the cooldown on Flash, people forget that Ghost has had the same cooldown and it's relatively uh, cheap right now. Um, comes up way quicker, so you can do a gank, get a Flash, Scar, take oh, the damage and going though. down. Link going aggressive on him here. He might have enough the attack ball. Instead, he went for minions with it. <laughs> Realized he wasn't going to get the kill. Yeah, guaranteed money. He wants to get that one down first. This bottom lane matchup uh, actually going against Dignitas right now. Uh, Cutie Pie is a bit behind, plus he has the red pot start, so he is definitely losing out. So Kiwi Kid in his top lane, pressuring on Hotshot, very much even between the CS of all the lanes, honestly, as it stands, like you say, Double Lift is currently winning out there. Skara hadn't gone back, instead he just chose to chug down on those health pots. Not quite the crystalline flask alcoholics that we had <laughs> in the uh, live qualifiers a long time back, but Chowster covering off on that mid lane as well. Double Lift sure he gets use of all of the CS in this bottom lane. I'm sure the tower doesn't hover it away. He does uh -huh. get the double minion. These the, the lane wards here um, and the wards in the river doing a lot of work. They did see Crumbs come down, so they know that he's in their bottom side jungle. They don't know exactly where, so we're going to see Chopster come over here. He's just getting into position for a counter gank if they really needed it. Crumbs again, going by another ward. He's just going to recall. Ooh, double lift taken very low by the Piltover Peacemaker and the stun from Potoy. They're getting the cocoon on him, but of course, they do know where Crumbs is now. He passed by straight away on that ward. Will they try and counter with anything, or is double lift too? low right now. Ping's Ooh. going down. Chowster is coming around in towards that try, but she's just hovering off at the side at the moment, so may well go for it. <laughs> Kiwi Kid at the moment in that top lane, continuing that farm. He's actually got a big advantage over Hotshot right now. He's built up a 10 CS lead. I think Hotshot, I know he's just been pushed on the tower, and tell you what, he's been here a hell of a long time. I don't time. think I've ever seen two junglers stand this still for this long. Mm. They have so Link's much patience. Go. They're going for it. They're going for it. Crumbs realizes the goose is cooked. He's going for it. He does get the flip on towards Jouster, but it's the bottom line. Patoy and Cutie Pie, they have to try and get away from this one. The attack ball comes out. Patoy is the target. Is he going to be able to repel? He hasn't taken oh. it first, but comes down. Chouster gets it. Can they finish it off? Pilter of a Peacemaker comes out. And now Crumbs. Oh, the flip comes in. Now Double Lift gets turned on. Cutie Pie is going to chase on this one. Crumbs is going to get in. He's already Use the flip. There's going to glitter lance from Aframu. They turn on towards Aframu instead. Aframu's going to get taken low. Piltover Peacemaker is back up. There's the flip again. Piltover on towards Double Lift. Wow, crazy action. And it's 3 1 with Dignitas taking the lead. Dignitas did that with a 3 versus 4. Look at Scar in the middle. He's had plenty of time. He's going to get that middle turret very quickly, even. Oh my goodness, this is, shows you the power of a red pot. Caitlyn plus a Volibear. They thought they were going to get the jump on Crumbs there coming in from behind him, but it backfired. It backfired, and you can't go aggressive on the bear when he's sat there ready and waiting for the hit points. And, you know, while Link came down to try and surprise him, try and catch him off guard, the bear has so much power. And, you know, the fact that he used, like you say, he gets onto them all fours, he's got that power speed running and along with the Ghost, he just managed to just do everything he needed to. And now, it looks like they're going to take advantage and try and push for blue. Yeah, good job by Dignitas. Going to push their advantage while they have it. They see that Chowster went to that bottom side jungle, so they're going to grab up this blue buff very easily, not even using their jungler. Crumb's going to hold down the middle, and now Hotshot could be in some trouble if he stays up there pushing. Who did they give the blue buff to? Was it Tuscara? Yeah. I didn't see whether it was the Kiwi Kid. I assume it would have been Tuscara. You yeah. see Crumbs dancing around there with Link. Link so you could, using a lot of mana. And this is going to put pressure on him. This is surely going to pressure Link. He needs that blue buff on Ariana. Yeah, plus it's going to allow Scar to just farm up his jungle camps as well. Diana's really good at clearing those raids because she has a lot of AoE with her Crescent Strike and her passive. There's the ultimate from Crumbs. We finally see Volibear's ultimate. It feels a little lackluster when you use it, but that's because the rest of his kit is so powerful. His passive gives you an extra 30% of your life over six seconds. That is ridiculous. That's almost like an ultimate right there. Plus, like I said, his Q more powerful than Ghost at level one. Yes, 
Scary, scary monster. Ooh, oh, he's going nice. to be the cocoon, lads. And look at how quick he just got destroyed. Fang sank in from Potoy, and Double Lift goes down. There we go. That's the reason he wanted to go this heads up bottom lane. Potoy showing off his Elise right there. Nice cocoon able to land. And now Aphromoo going to have a hard time defending against two. Well, I can only hope that Edward is not watching because he's going to see kills go into another support <laughs> thinking. We got a challenger approaching here. Of course, they did manage to get that win, but maybe we'll see them switching up to Elise in Gambit. As it stands, this bottom turret, though, all oh, the cocoon going on towards Afro Move. It's going to be the first turret of the game, and it's going to be Dignitas beating it out in against that duo lane, and more importantly, beating out with the odds stacked against them. Yeah, this is really going to open up that dragon, too. Link in the middle there. Shockwave comes out, but here comes Crumbs. Flips him <laughs> over, and Skara takes down Link and the middle turret. It's suddenly two turrets to zero. Five to one in kills. Dignitas in control here. This is looking to snowball really quickly right there. Crumbs flipped him over his head in the wrong direction. Didn't even matter right there. Able to pick that kill up. They are going to go get a free dragon after two turrets. There it is, Freak. There it is, Dragon goes down. I'm not Freak, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're both losing our airline, but you know, come on. Come on, be fair to me, man. As it stands, the hot shot at the top with Kiwi Kid is the lonely lane, really both standing still at the moment. It is still a 10 CS advantage. We saw Kiwi Kid developing early on in the game. Look at that, though. That mid lane, that is enormous. As you mentioned, the fact that Link went down the bottom, failed, didn't get the kill, ended up dying. Discara has built up such an enormous advantage over him. It's a, two, a 1,000 gold advantage already between two AP carries. That is scary. Yeah, they've already taken the dragon to this whole bottom side of the map has really been decimated by Dignitas. Looking so strong right now, and Crumb's looking to return. He got, uh, oh, no, never mind. He's going to back out right now. But we have the Elise support going top as well. They might just want to get down the last outer turret so that they can then uh, shove in on the blue buff or red buff of CLG and just assert their dominance. And I didn't point it out, the fact that gold difference there. Oh, Patoy, has he snuck in there with that shot noticing? He is going to get oh, a yeah. cocoon down, puts this tired spider going down aggressively. Look at this, this is a support <laughs> versus a top laner. Patoy going full on aggression and actually putting more damage down on Hotshot. Look at this, took it to half health. Level six versus level nine. And I really like Elise as a support Bec for the same reasons that people build just um, spell penetration on her and health, it's because she scales so well without items. That's exactly what you want in a support. The support doesn't have to be uh, ranged only. She can go in a melee form as well and trade with the top laner, no problem. I mean, she's one of the fa favorite champions of a lot of players, mainly for the fact that she's got seven abilities effectively you can use. And, you know, even speaking to some of the junglers, they're like, how can you not like it? Because you can repel and just give you that vision over such a wide range as well. Top lane now being pressured in, and Dignitas may well take themselves a third to it. As it is, he can push down there. He can see, again, Crumbs getting ready. He's kind of doing a little dance of a shuffle <laughs> in that tri-bush on Volley Bear. Ready and waiting. Kiwi Kid trying to set up on towards double lift. He's going to come around. Did he see him? I'm not sure. There's going to be the equalizer going down. He's going to get across towards him. There's the flip. Arcane shifts straight out of it, though. You can see the harpoons. They're going to miss. Ooh. And he does manage to escape it. But in the top lane, we see Skara coming around. Chowster, the cocoon comes in, and he's just going to get melted where he stands. Hotshot GG now in trouble. He's going to have to use his flash to try and get out of there away from this and his ultimate to get away. Doesn't matter. Dignitas got themselves another turret. Yeah, so we had a little bit of missed up down bottom. Kiwi Kid burns his flash, but that does not matter. Dignitas firmly in the lead right here. And Skara with his patented barefoot play here. No boots, just rushes the Zanyas. You can see him just blowing people up right now. So much damage coming out from that Zanya so early on. And Link, he's having issues right now. He's 40 CS behind Skara. Along with the two kills, it's around stacking up. It's a good 1,500 gold now. I did actually miss out the, the fact that the AD carries were close. Hotshot GG is going to come into blue. He gets Cocoon down there. Don't think they're going to follow through on this one. Or are they? Here comes Scar against the Moonfall on towards him. Double lift now. The target, the fangs sink in. He tries to rebel towards him. Potoy goes a bit too deep there. Has to flash away from him. Now Chowster comes in. He's going to be a big, scary monster, but is enough. He does get stunned out there. And Cutie Pie continues the pressure. And in comes Crumbs, the big bear that doesn't 
care on towards Nasus. Can he get the flip down onto him? Yes, he does. He flips hot shot the oh! other way. Pills over Peacemaker misses, but it doesn't matter. The red buff does the damage there, I believe it was, that takes down hot shot GG. And all of that damage back and forth, it was just a one for zero trade. Yeah, that was a very well fought fight, but Dignitas so far in head that it doesn't matter. I think it was really that very early um, gank where we said, you know, Link's really far behind right now. It's because. He roamed bottom to try and cut off Crumbs, and it really backfired, giving Scar so much free farm that he was able to rush that Zanyas. Dan, and once she gets the Zanyas, is ridiculous. Melee champion going to get in there. Basically an extra life with that statue form. And still not bothering with the boots. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, give a, doesn't, doesn't give any cares whatsoever. Kiwi Kid, meanwhile, had the free farm in that bottom lane while all that was happening, while Hotshot GG was away, and it's given him such a huge gap differential in terms of CS. He's got 40 CS over Hotshot GG now, which is something you just don't see that often. Hotshot GG is the split farmer. Yeah, everybody on Dignitas is really really fed right now. Actually, I was going to say, yeah, they've got two fed uh, AP carries, but actually, they've got fed AD carry. They've even got a fed support right now. It's looking really dire here for CLG. Maybe they can save themselves with one of those Aegis of the Legion that everybody likes to harp on. Oh, Hotshot GG shows himself and does Scar up fancy his chances? Can he go 1v1 with him? I feel he can. Honestly, he's got that much damage over him. He is going to go aggressive in that top lane. Does get the Moonfall, but Hot Shot GG, you can see that passive. It works so well. He's such a strong tank, and it could also just buy a lot of time there for him to just call in the cavalry. As it stands, you can see double lift down the bottom lane. 110 CS. He's got the CS advantage over Roman Cutie Pie, who's trying to continue to push in that mid lane. We see the wither coming out, and we heard Crumbs talking about how strong that wither is right now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, People are leveling it up second after Spirit Fire. It might even be worth uh, putting a couple points in before that. Level 2, he's got it right now, and it's already, the base on it starts at 35% reduction and then up to 59% over the duration. That's 5 seconds. That's a long, long time to keep them pinned. Dragon spawns in 15 second times and Dignitas already heading down the river for it. 7-1 currently in kills and it's a 6,700 gold advantage. That is a third of COG's gold already gained it, in an advantage. It has snowballed so hard. The Leandri's already done oh, on Rumble. Oh, you see Rumble. Skara going in aggressive on double lift there. He's forced the flash already. He's going to come back around towards him. He's going to land that crescent strike. No! Oh. Double lift just jukes out of it. We've seen some great jukes on them crescent strikes. You just got to uh -huh. know which way to run. Yeah, he almost juked himself running into that crescent yeah. strike right there. Uh, Scar was playing some mind games, uh, hoping that he'd go back into the bush, but it's going to free be a free dragon as Cutie Pie is able to hold off Chouster and Link. And now there is the dragon going down. Oh no, Chouster's going to walk into the bush. Will they go aggressive on towards him? Link is going to put the ball down. Hotshot GG is there. They could go aggressively, you know. Oh, but no, it's going to oh. be the Kurums does get caught out. Chouster goes down, and now Skara comes in. Potoy actually separating, keeping the AP carry away. Hotshot GG now. He's going to get caught out. Skara picks up another one there. Equalizer goes down, catches them all out. There's going to be the flip coming out from Crumbs. He gets on towards Link. Link gets thrown in there, pops the shockwave off, but it's not going to be enough. The cocoon comes out, but Toy picks up another kill, and they are just going to turn and pressure that mid turret down. Dignitas with all the advantages right now. They've already built up a 9,000 gold lead just 16 minutes in. Yeah, they're already going to clear out this second turret in the mid lane. They could even march on an inhibitor turret here. That was just bad luck for Link there. He got flipped after the flash, and then Patoy, another dead eye shot there with that cocoon. And there's going to be Cutie Pie getting caught out with the wither, but he just straight away 90 caliber nets, built over over Chowster, and strolls off. Crumbs, he's clearing up in this bottom lane. 305 currently on Volley Bear, already got that Ages of the Legion. Look at Kiwi Kid, he's got himself at Leandris already. Mm -hmm. That's scary stuff. Finally, some boots being picked up by Skara. The Abyssal Scepter will be coming out shortly as well for him. There's the Runic Bulwark being completed by Crumbs. Look at that. He's got a Runic Bulwark completed. And look at Chouster's build. Miles behind right now. Does he even have his Aegis done? That's just painful. 1 to 10 right now. In game, that's got to be so demoralizing for CLG. It's, they have to turtle very, very hard right now. Maybe if they can grab a, a ward on that Baron and come in for a Miraculous Steal, they could start making something come back here. But Chouster in that last fight popped his ultimate 
executed anyway. You didn't even get to see it go off barely. He almost had no time. There's no real heavy tank despite them having Malphite and Nasus. Nobody can take the damage here from Dignitas. They're just too far ahead. Dignitas didn't go for blue this time around despite having it warded so they know that it's been taken. They see Chowster in that jungle and it looks like they're going to gather up in that mid lane. Cutie Pie, Crumbs and Patoy currently running as Elise. He's super secret Elise. Well. <laughs> yeah, super secret. I'm I'm really hoping that he's got something else up there because <laughs> even if he does, if he doesn't, he better uh, keep that a secret because I'll be angry with him. <laughs> yeah. But you can see our first tier two item being completed for ZLG. They have a bloodthirster at least. And it is, of course, Doublelift that has picked the one up. Doublelift actually kept up the CS advantage over Cutie Pie, but of course Cutie Pie at 206 has a giant leap of an advantage. And you can see in terms of gold, that does mean he's got 1,600 gold lead over Doublelift. Look at the AD carries, as well, the AP so carries, sorry, 2,000 gold lead now over Link there for Skara and the top lane as well. It's nearly a 2,000 gold lead between them. So big, big advantages for Dignitas here, and we are going to see some aggression coming out. Well, they do go a little bit aggressive, but nobody wants to chase that bear. They've had nightmares already from the last time. They tried to corner him, and he just started biting everyone. Cutie Pie gaining a shot onto the turret there. Maybe coming around. While this is all happening, Kiwi Kid is in the mid lane with Rumble and continuing to pressure. He's got nearly a 50 CS advantage built up over Hotshot GG. Of course, having that Leandris early on is going to put a lot more pressure down. We are seeing aggression coming out from Crumbs, but the Wither comes out and Hotshot GG manages to put that shard on him. Tries to slow him down. Patoy tanking up the turret. Cutie Pie gave him as many hits as he can on there. I've yet to see Hotshot GG using that ultimate as an aggressive tool. And I like uh, how they have Rumble as their split pusher because his ultimate has such a long range. It is even like one of those pseudo glo globals. So he can sit there and then when he does come down with that Leandri's ultimate, it's just going to burn the entire team. Continuing on Dignitas here, pressuring on double lift. Got to be so careful that Skara doesn't come around. That Crescent Strike could land, and I think he may even die for it. Yes, he does. Ace in the hole comes out. Bam! Absolutely disappeared off the map. Deleted, you may even say, of course. And they are going to pressure on towards that inhibitor turret. Chowster doing anything he can to keep them away. Shockwave comes out, but all they catch is Crumbs. He's got that runic bulwark. He just strolls away from it on two pulls. He still has his passive up, too. So there's another 30% of his life just waiting to come back here extremely tanky and we do have the split push again yeah they continue to keep the pressure on this bottom turret there is i'm a cutie pie shooting it down and there it is down her third health now mid turret already down her third health as well and just 20 minutes into this game we see cog pressured into their inhibitor turrets that is a scary proposition for any cog fan out there 2,000 gold sitting in Kiwi Kid's pockets right now. So on top of that, Leandris, he can get, he can just build full damage right now. It doesn't even matter. He's not scared at all. They, everyone on Dignitas is going to retreat. They're going to clear out the rest of their jungle because they have buffs waiting for them, and then they continue their push at a later date. Cutie Pie down the bottom. He's a long way away from this one. He's backing off in that bush. In fact, no, he's not. He's going to continue to farm. COG are going to see this one. Can they try and take an advantage from it? Can they try and pressure anything? I'm not sure if they even have the ability. They're going to try and push for the mid turret. It's too scary for them. They're, there's no objective up that they could actually grab in time since they don't have enough damage. There's no way they can do a Baron right now. If you get caught in a Baron pit, Kiwi Kid could probably solo kill one or two of them. Yeah, he's already got that Leandro. Is that, like he's mentioned, just quick ultimate across the Baron pit and it's just going <laughs> to burn everyone that's stuck in there and you're not even going to be able to escape because then there's going to be a bear following up and throwing paws in your face and uh, trying to catch salmon maybe who knows as it stands cutie pie he's going to get that red buff again he's already got one he's already stolen away cogs but why not get a sec this is quite interesting because a lot of people uh, talking today had said that this CLG versus Dignitas was going to be the close, most closely contested game. This is a stomp right now. Dignitas game against Marn earlier was much closer than this one. And the pressure that this is going to put on towards Canalogic Gaming. Coming into this one, this is a game they had to win to try and chase, try and close them places. You know, when you're coming up against a team that's above you, you have to win them games. Mm -hmm. If you want any chance of climbing that ladder, but Dignitas are just going to stretch and they are going to go 13 and 4, I believe, after this game if they were to pick up the win. It's not over yet. <laughs> I'm not jinxing it yet. But honestly, it would have to be a pretty monumental throw from Dignitas.
Yeah, and remember the video that we watched coming into this? Trust me, the, I'm uh, thinking of that video. The when no we come fluff the end of this talk. Game. It looks like uh, Dunatas are going to get the better of that right now, as we might have an engage on the hot shot. It is going to be hot shot. They pull again. Still hasn't used that unstoppable force, and he doesn't look like they're going to double lift getting the ace in the hole. He catches on towards Link X. Give me ultimate comes across, but Toy goes aggressive on towards him, sinks his fangs down, and it's Scar that picks up another kill. Patoy actually chasing out Hotshot GG, and that's going to be Chouster going down as well by Crumbs. And it is Patoy continuing to chase Hotshot GG, the support player chasing out the top lane bruiser from the fight. Dignitas, one dimensional, they're in the fourth dimension right now. <laughs> support assassin, no problem, that will work in any comp. Patoy getting a double lift out right there. A very nice cocoon on the side, starting that one off, and then following up with Kiwi Kid's ultimate. Just great team fight right there from Dignitas. No chance for CLG. They're going to take this inhibitor and go home. And they are just going to back off. So 12,000 gold. They're going to take this top turret as well. There's no reason why not. They've They're got to come around. Blue buff has just spawned. There's a giant creep wave here. Cutie Pie is just going to go, well, I may as well keep the pressure on. The rest of CLG are coming in towards this one. They may try and aggress on towards Cutie Pie. They may think they've caught him out on his own, but it doesn't look like they have at the moment. Instead, they're going to back off. Blue buff was picked up. There's the dragon being taken as well. Dignitas. Well, they can just go by back and spend a hell of a lot of a lump of gold. Uh -oh. Cutie Pie might get caught out here, but look, Scar is there to protect him. <laughs> Dignitas, they just want to grab every objective on the entire map at once right now. A couple of people going for Dragon. Uh, Cutie Pie going to solo up in that top lane, keep everyone there with his pressure. And one ward over here from, uh, from Dignitas would be enough to stop CLG from doing a Desperate Baron even. A Desperate Baron it may well be, but... Look at the gold lead, 13,000, 6-0 in turret, 6-0, not a single turret, even touched really by CLG, they've not even got close to taking one of those turrets, the top one I think was the only one where the pressure really came down from Ultra GG, but still yet to get on towards it, double lift now seems to be the target crumbs, just sat off around the side, here he comes, all four paws down, Arcane Shift comes out, is it going to be enough? It does force him away, and that turret again going to go down, I'm in Kai keeping the pressure on, but 90 caliber, it's the nets away from that one. The wither from Chowster is still a scary thing. Patoy still has about a quarter left on this Oracle, so they can continue to clear out Baron and then force CLG into a bad spot. CLG might even just give up that Baron because they, they don't have much of a chance to contest it. Well, as it stands, look at the items. Oh look. no, <laughs> Kiwi is going back on sad. They're not doing anything. No, they're just going <laughs> to... <laughs> Welcome to my world. Ah, when yes. I have to cast I evil really geniuses, mean. trust me, this happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think they've took all inhibitors, there's nothing left of the base, they still go back and buy. It's uh, they they kind of keep you on on the edge, but in in the from the words of the players, why risk it? Yeah. They have no reason to. They have full advantages right now. Everything is in their favor. It's a giant gold lead, 13,000 gold lead, 13 to 1 in kills, 6 to 0 in turrets. They're going to just start this Baron off, and there's nothing at all Counter Logic Games can do about it. Yeah, but it is CLG. You're right. You don't want to chance it. You don't want to throw anything away. This is definitely one of the opponents that they do have a lot of respect for, despite that video and despite the trash talk. The more trash talk there is, the more you know they actually consider uh, the opponent and a big rival. Cutie Pie, the only one not recalling right now. He's solo pushing. He's not afraid. He hasn't been caught out once. He's got two, nearly 2,500 gold in him, so he's going to go back and... Potentially go straight for Last Whisper. Let's see what he does by. He's getting back now. What's he going to pick up? Let's see. Finally thinking about it. It's going to be a Last Whisper. Flat out. Yeah, perfect third item right there. Just uh, the little bit of defense that CLG has is mostly in the form of armor right now. They have completed the Aegis of the Legion and then a hot shot there with that Glacial Shroud. Double lift. Doing what he can to try and pick up any advantage, but I don't even think he's going to get the Major Wraith away here. Crumbs comes around. Oh, oh, he does get it. No, he got it. He got it. Nicely done. <laughs> Small win there for CLG. Small win. 40 gold is 40 gold, no matter how badly your team is doing. He is 0 3 0 and needs all of that gold. Had to get himself a mage in there as well. He's building up slowly but surely the Trinity Force is going to go for it, along with that Bloodthirster that he picked up earlier. But in comparison, he's up against the Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer, and Last Whisper. I'm a cutie pie. He is so much stronger as an AD carry right now. 208, 501 Scara as well. He has dominated that mid lane from the very start against Link. 
They do both have uh, red buffs here, though, and Ezreal with the red buff is actually pretty annoying. Um, the Mystic Shot will apply on hit effects, and that does include the buff, uh, the red buff there. Hotshot taking a hit for his AD carry. Ace in the hole was used, Unstoppable Force finally comes out, and that's a good engagement from CLG. Have they got the damage to try and turn this one? Skara is going to go down, but it's a one-for-one -one trade, but it's only the jungler dropping. But there goes the turret. Cutie Pie goes in towards it. Crumbs chases on towards Double Lift. Patoy even lingering off the side, but Dignitas, despite the losses, are still going to take the inhibitor. It was a one-for-one -one trade, but they come out on top. Link now with the home guard boots, going to try and get in there. Has already used the shockwave, so he's just poking them, trying to keep them away. And of course, that inhibitor already Already down. It's another inhibitor down now. It's two for zero, and they're not even close for this one. Look at it, eight to zero <laughs> in turrets. Dignitas can just choose what they want in a fight. That was actually a pretty good fight for CLG. Mm. Scar missed up a little bit right there. Didn't use a Zanya. All the pressure on Hotshot GG here is huge. They flip him in, and Cutie Pie just burns him down where he stands. I think that was purely a case of cocoon landing, and now Double Lift has to arcane shift away from Cutie Pie. Yep. There's a little spell penetration now on Elise too. Putoy wants to go a bit more offensive, uh, get some a few more kills here. It looks like they're going to take this middle inhibitor for free at the same time. Cutie Pie still over there putting pressure on the top Patoy's turret. Patoy's chasing, actually. Patoy is keeping Double Lift zoned out of this one, despite the fact that he's got Oracle. There's the inhibitor. did respawn. The inhibitor turret is about to go down as well. Cutie Pie on that one. He's tanking it up, actually. He doesn't care. He's just going to keep on pushing through. 309 with that Phantom Dance and Lost Whisper. He's just penetrating, doing all the damage. The turrets are getting dropped. Patoy, look at this. Keeping them completely zoned away from everything. And that's three inhibitors down. Double Super Minions are coming in to CLG. Double Super Minions and Skara. Guys, I'm helping. He's back. He wants to fight more, <laughs> but everyone else is recalling. So just as the party ends, Skara arrives. They're pinging their own base right now. Please, no. Please, They're no. They're going to back. They're going to back. This is the, this is. I talked about it. This is the evil geniuses <laughs> right there. Once you've cast them for too many years, you just see the exact same thing. Dignitas, why not play it safe? They have had one, two, three members back off. We do see Skaru, of course, how has only just returned, along with Kiwi Kid sat around there. But look at Kiwi Kid. He's got the Rapidon's death cap now on Rumble. There you go. That's going to add a little bit more bite to his uh, ultimate. And you can see the disrespect right here. Look at all these wards inside of CLG's base. That's when you know you are losing very, very hard. Too much vision right there for Dignitas. They aren't going to come back here. Looks like Kiwi Kid and Scar are going to be the first ones to hit the front lines. <laughs> you can hear Aframu laughing away on Lulu. It's good to see he's keeping his spirits up and spanning out that laugh. It's probably one of the funniest laughs in the game, I think. As it stands, Dignitas rushing straight up the mid lane. They're going to try and finish this one off. Look at the super minions all piling in there. I'm a cutie pie, throws out the ace in the hole, straight in towards them. And there's the flip. Double left gets pulled in. He gets caught out there. And there's an equalizer coming down. Hotshot GG. Well, he only caught I'm a cutie pie, but it's the one they want to catch. Chouster goes down. It's Scar that picks up the kill on that one. Hotshot GG now the target. The repel comes out from Patoy. They go in. The fangs sink down. And Patoy picks up another kill on the support. There's both Nexus turrets going down. The Nexus will follow. And it's going to be Dignitas picking up a convincing victory over Counter Logic Game.